tracing process uh, we are going to move on to our next uh, joining process which is the soldering so you must have heard a lot about soldering in electronic applications such as in mobile phones in thousands and millions of uh, electronic circuit boards etc so basically what is soldering uh, soldering basically takes place at temperature below 450 degrees centigrade the soldering process may or may not use uh, capillary action to pull the solder into the joint. When capillary action does occur, just like brazing, the joint strength increases several times greater than the solder itself. So, uh, the difference between what uh, we have in brazing and soldering is that brazing occurs above 450 degrees centigrade and filler materials such as gold, silver, copper, nickel and cobalt are used. However, for the case of soldering, uh, filler materials met at, melt at temperature less than 450 degrees centigrade and these filler materials might be from lead or tin etc. So this is basically the main difference between soldering and uh, brazing. <clears throat> so there is a video for you guys to look on. It has been attached uh, in the Google Drive folder. So let's move on to the advantages and disadvantages of soldering. <clears throat> So one of the good advantages of soldering is that you don't need a lot of heat energy or some great deal of amount of energy like an electric arc to basically melt the filler material. It is very easy to melt the filler material by using a variety of heating methods such as a soldering iron or an induction heater etc. So it is quite easy to get joints which have good electrical conductivity or thermal conductivity uh, like for uh, various uh, electronic circuit boards you need good electrical conductivity of the filler material and then uh, all you guys know that it's quite easy to repair and resolder solder and resolder uh, the solder joint however the disadvantages are that uh, the joint strength is very weak you can even yourself break the solder or the solder alloy filler yourself and perhaps what happens is that it weakens the joint itself and might be uh, uh, disastrous for the circuit board itself as well. So <clears throat> what are the general uh, filler materials which are used for soldering applications? Usually although uh, tin and lead are very famous but however due to the poisonous nature of uh, lead uh, due to the toxicity uh, it has adverse effect on the environment so usually we are now shifting more towards lead free solders so for getting uh, even more uh, good strength in in the field of soldering uh, technology basically we uh, are moving into other solder alloys such as tin zinc lead silver cadmium silver or zinc aluminium alloys in each of them they have their own uh, material preference or they have their own applications uh, <clears throat> since uh, it was quite uh, important uh, that the filler material is protected from uh, the oxidizing agent so we need uh, flux in soldering as well just like as in brazing so in soldering uh, process we are we require basically uh, our solder to be protected from the oxygen if oxygen comes then maybe porosity will happen or some oxygen embrittlement will happen which will weaken the joint so basically we put flux uh, above the our uh, uh, filler material to prevent it from oxidizing another advantage is of uh, flux is basically it prevents uh, it, it basically cleans the surface so if you look here you can see that the flux can clean the surface of the base material as well as it protects it from the oxygen and another factor is that it helps lower the surface tensions so when the surface tension is lowered then what happens is that the wettability is decreased and when the wettability is decreased then the spreadability increases. when the spreadability increase then you have a large surface area when you have large surface area then you have a stronger joint 
so uh, apart from enhancing the surface area of the joint there is one more thing which can be done for soldering uh, for for soldering different types of uh, joints for instance if you have got many types of joint here but what you can see the difference between some of them is that this this uh, joint is basically mechanically interlocked so when you've got a mechanical interlocking in addition to the soldering uh, filler then you get a very strong joint so sometimes it is very important to have a mechanical interlock or a mechanical joint prior to being a soldered so some of the examples are uh, joint e joint uh, g uh, f and uh, j they are all mechanically interlocked <coughs> in one of the example one is even bolted or riveted so it further enhances the joint strength other factors are also available uh, which are very important uh, in the soldering process so, just as we discussed uh, the wetting angle is very important for the spreadability then in micro electronics application the adhesion of the uh, solder to the circuit board is very important then it is very important to perform pre and post uh, cleaning operations and then another thing another thing is basically to uh, maintain proper quality control by uh, using various measurement uh, devices and techniques so uh, these are all basically some of the important parameters for soldering operation i have put a research link for you guys you can just click this link and you can open some uh, research paper on uh, soldering how does the microstructure of solder looks like what are the some of the important parameters which are involved in soldering process and then you guys can further uh, continue uh, research with some of the experts available in ump for continuing your uh, research so this was all about uh, soldering process and then we will continue to and it has a bonding thank you for listening